when one is first to act, what they want to do is they want to select a domino that has a value that is a multiple of five. So in this case, four one would work because that's a value of five. Uh, the only other one that's going to work here is five five because that's worth 10 points. So we're going to select that because that's worth more than uh, five points. And we get 10 points right there. Again, the objective in this game is to try to score as often as possible. A little bit less concerned about blocking, although some situations it can be. So in this situation right here, we have a 4-1 that's going to give us a 7. We don't want that. This one right here will give us 5. That's going to be the one to choose. Uh, this one right here has two different options. If we go this way, it's worth 2 points. If we go this way, it's worth 6 points. Uh, so we're going to take the 1 and 2, and that's going to give us 5 points right there. Now, when one has to draw, it's not as bad in this game. In fact, the more points you get, or the more dominoes you get, the better your chances are of getting a big score later on. And now, in this case, they play the 5-0, so there's going to be a number of different options. Unfortunately, all of them are going to end not very good, so we're going to play the 0-0 there. And in this case, uh, all we can play is the 4-0, so that's going to give us 8 points. But you can give opponents points if you draw a lot of dominoes. However, the more dominoes one has, the better the chances one has of scoring uh, big points in this case. In this case, we can't score right there. But our opponent's drawing a lot, so our opponent's going to have a lot of different ways of scoring. Now we have a bunch of different options here. There's four different ways. Well, there's only one option we can actually play. So now we're forced to draw here. And uh, two different options here, 9 or 17. We're going to go for the, uh, the bigger one, the 6 combo, even though we don't have any 6s. Just so there's a high edge score. We're going to see if uh, something can happen there. Now we got the last uh, play here. Unfortunately, we're not going to get any points unless our opponent has some points there. So we get five points. So basically what you want to do is you want to try to focus on getting as many points as you can during the round. Not so much blocking your opponent and getting points from them, although there can be an exception if you can get a lot of dominoes. In this spot right here, we got a number of different choices. Uh, this one's going to give us nine points. This choice will give us 11 points here. This is going to be the actual best choice. We'll get five points out of it. And of course, if one cannot score points, uh, one might want to consider looking for ways uh, to where they can actually make moves in the next one. In this case right here, we got seven points. That's not going to work. The other option, and the cool thing about this game is it can go in four different directions, as you may have seen. We're not going to get any points on this, but we're going to be able to play a five potentially later on. So now the edge is nine. Neither one of these will work. Let's see if this works here. There's a 10 possibility. We're probably going to go with that. And there's a 15. So there's two different possibilities here. If we play it on the edge with a four, that gives us 10 points. If we play it on the edge with a zero, that's going to give us 15 or four, five, and six is 15. So that's going to give us a lot of points right there. So you always want to be on the lookout for big scoring opportunities. Here we have uh, pretty much two choices here. There's a 7, which won't help us because that's not a multiple of 5. And there's an 11. We're going to go for the 11 just to have the edge higher. So if we do score, we get more points. Unfortunately, in this one, we're not going to be able to score either. That's going to give us 14, or the edge would be 14 there. Now we have to draw. Like I said, drawing can be good or bad. In this case, uh, it's not great. Here we go. Not going to get any points, but we're going to... Oh, we might get... Oh, we did get 10 points right there. And in this spot right here, we got three choices. Uh, this one's not going to yield anything. This one won't yield anything. This one gives us five points. We're going to play it on this side right here. So five more points. Working our way to that 150 number... And uh, this happens to be five here. I don't believe the other one. The other one's eight points. So we're going to play the two, two on the left side there. It gives us five more points up to 125. 
we'll have to draw. That's perfectly fine. Uh, no points there. Now we can only play one nominal, and it just happens to give us five points because uh, two and two plus one is five. So we're up to 130 there. Don't have a ton of ways to score here. I'm going to play the double one. Either way is fine. So our opponent's going to have a lot of potential ways to score. Unfortunately for our opponent, there's no high edge score. Let's see if we can come up with something here. One, two, or four. I am going to play... I'm going to keep the edge score low, just so our opponent can't score in the spot. And we're going to actually score points by running out of dominoes. And uh, we get lucky there that wins the game, but try not to focus on getting all your opponents, getting points from your opponents at the end of a round like that, as the main objective should be to try to just get every turn in an increment of five if it if it's possible.